I love this mold because it's two separate pieces that you can use with different molds to make creative things, but together they are adorable and also functional. I'm using the glitter mix that I made and posted in a video a couple of weeks ago. Some people thought it was too dark, but really it looks fabulous. You'll see. If you're going to make a solid glitter piece, you need to add lots and lots of glitter. So you need your mix to be thick, but you also need it to flow to fill your mold. You need to squeeze, pinch, and tap your mold in order to get it into all the crevices. Pouring from a large container into a small mold doesn't work very well, so I decided to transfer it into a paper cup where I could pinch the edge to make it flow better and pour it more easily. Well, not so easily, but you get my point. I'm using a silicone stick to poke into all the little crevices, especially that deep nose on this reindeer head, and that will bust any bubbles and more evenly spread the resin. I'm filling this mold completely to the top because any spaces that you leave will also leave sharp edges behind that you'll have to deal with later. Don't forget to poke around the top edges too because bubbles like to accumulate there. I've left this piece for a full day and now it's time to demold. It's nice that this silicone mold is very soft so it's easy to get the piece out. And as you can see, just on its own, this is a lovely piece to hold jewelry or trinkets in. Time to demold this sweet reindeer, or should I say caribou head, as they are the exact same animal. Did you know that? It's a little trickier because of all those antler bits, but still comes out nicely. Now I'll use glue and just put these two pieces together to make one fabulous jewelry stand, which I gifted to my 95-year-old mother. And it will bring her a touch of joy every single day.